So, I do not understand how people can defend drivers like Joey Logano, Brad Keselowski, and now Austin Sendick. Yep. For those of you who do not know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the finish of the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series race from Canadian Tire Motorsports Park, or Mosport, which literally happened probably about... five, ten, maybe fifteen minutes ago at the time this video was recorded. For those of you who are unaware what, I'm, what I mean by who, or who, who or, or saying who am I talking about when I, heard, when I refer to Sin Dick, I'm talking about Austin fucking Sendrick. The whoop. The guy whose daddy works for Team Penske, who buys his ride with Penske material and Penske equipment just because he works for Penske. He's part of the ride buyer epidemic that is plaguing motorsports. And to be honest, I think if your parent works in motorsports, you shouldn't be allowed to race for that team that they work on. You shouldn't be allowed to drive anything that has any equipment from them than is current. Austin Cendrick should have to drive for somebody like Norm Benning. But that's a different story. Basically what happened, Cendrick came up on Kaz Grala, who was leading the race on the final lap of, and going through turn, I think it was seven. Okay. Came through turn seven, didn't he? Hadn't even reached turn eight, which was right after turn seven. Cindric dove it into turn seven and flat out, intentionally, he even admitted it, dumped Kaz Grala for the win. Now, I'm going to say this if NASCAR continues to let people win races like this, then that tells me they don't care about sportsmanship. If that would have been sports cars, WEC, IMSA, hell, if that would have been any online racing series, that would have been immediate grounds for disqualification. That would have been an immediate black flag. I do not understand why the hell NASCAR has to think, oh, this is perfect, it's drama, it's good for our sport. No, it's not! When you have little cocksuckers like fucking Syndic come into the sport because their daddy has a lot of money and he buys the ride from Penske because, he, oh, he works there. He's like, hey, Roger, why don't we put my son in the car? He's got, he's got great talent. Sure, why not? How much you want to... Or, or, uh, or like, nah, I don't know. I'll pay you this much. And like, oh, yeah, that's great. If you can bring sponsorship, perfect. He's the perfect fit for the organization. And you know what? He is the perfect fit for the American side of that organization. Because you have Kasitsky, Fagano, and now Syndic. I feel very, very sorry for Ryan Blaney. I do. Ryan Blaney needs to be away from Penske, in my opinion. Blaney needed to be with the team like Hendrick Motorsports or Joe Gibbs Racing or, another, or some other team. Because he is surrounded by cocksuckers. People who do not understand sportsmanship. And I'm very pissed off that NASCAR actually showed Cendric the checkered flag. Yeah, the flagman didn't have it in his hand because the flagman was just like, Oh, I'm just going to hold the white flag up right here. And honestly, if I'm the flagman and I heard that, if I'd heard, and if I'd heard on the radio that the 19 spun the 33 intentionally for the win, I wouldn't be showing Cendric the checkered flag. I'd hold the checkered flag, and then I'd throw it for Noah Gregson, who ended up in second. And if NASCAR has any shred of decency, any shred of honor, they will declare Cendric's win encumbered based on the fact that he intent admitted that he intentionally spun Kaz Grala for the win. He said, oh... That was the last opportunity I had. I had to go for it. No, you had three more opportunities. The immediate next corner and two more turns after that down a back straightaway. 
and you were right on his bumper, so you would have had perfect draft. I don't know if it's the fact that NASCAR just does not care anymore, or that track actually brings out the worst in drivers, because it is so hard. Because it is so hard to pass because NASCAR has made so many changes to the cars. I do not understand why. And I don't care who does it. Yes, Carl Edwards has dumped Brad Keselowski for wins before. Do I like the fact he won races that way? No. There was only one race I agreed that the dumping was actually warranted. And that was the race at Milwaukee. I think it was Milwaukee. Or was it Gateway? Might have been Gateway. I'm not sure. The Xfinity Series doesn't race there anymore. Kazowski kept roughing him up and being extremely dirty to him, so Edwards just said, fine, I'm just going to hold a lower line and let you come right up into me. Or he might have said, that's it, I'm dumping you. I'm not going to let you take the win from me like that. So he dumped him. I would have done the same thing. Mainly because I don't like getting raced like that. I don't like it when people race other people like that. And Cindric has shown he's willing to dump you for a win if he knows he can't get around you. And that's one thing I absolutely hate about this ride buyer epidemic or pandemic that is plaguing motorsports. These little bitch ass ride buyers who daddy pays for their ride, they get this attitude of. Of, oh, I know I've lost but I have one more trick up my sleeve. I'm just going to wreck the person in front of me for that position. And it's not just ride buyers who do it. Do it? Hell, Harvick did it to, to, to Logano at Pocono because he, did, he knew he couldn't get fifth, so he just wrecked him at Pocono. It happens all the time. And personally, if you wreck somebody for that position... I don't think you should get that position. I really don't. And there's a lot of things, and there's a lot of procedural rules that NASCAR can make that would make this sport so much better and so much more fair because they have complete inconsistency and bullshit. And if you go back through the years and you look at all... All the times people dump somebody for the win. NASCAR's only ever shown the black flag immediately after to one person, and that was Ricky Rudd at Sonoma when he wrecked Davey Allison for the win. Now, I don't think Ricky Rudd meant to wreck Davey Allison for the win, which means that's a completely different story than compared to fucking today with Syndic. Syndic admitted he intentionally wrecked Kaz Grala. Intentionally ad wrecked Kaz Grala. He admitted it in his post-race victory lane interview. NASCAR shows him the checkered flag because, oh, he's one of the next young stars. It's just a phase he go they go through. Yet, Ricky Rudd accidentally wrecks Davey Allison even said that he didn't mean to do it. Said he got in there too hot and it was a mistake. That he didn't mean to and he didn't want to do it. Yet, NASCAR says, Oh, yeah, we're not going to let you win this race. Don't believe me? Go look it up on YouTube. Davey Allison versus Ricky Rudd at Sonoma. And then look up the finish of today's race. They are very, very eerily similar Except one person, Syndic, meant to do it. And this is complete and utter bullshit. And if NASCAR wants to let people win races this way, they're going to continue to lose fans. They will eventually become the Formula One of closed-wheel close auto racing. A complete joke. And honestly, I don't want to see that.
I don't. Because I've grown up watching NASCAR. As you can see behind me, I have NASCAR hats back here. I have NASCAR displays back here. This is complete and utter bullshit. Cendric, Cendric needs to be placed last, not given credit for the win, receive zero points, be penalized points, or the race declared in the race, his race win declared encumbered, and he loses his championship playoff spot, and it puts Ryan Truex back into the playoffs. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Defend him all you want. Defend any of the Penske drivers all you want. The only one that's worth defending is Ryan Blaney. Because he's not an absolute cocksucker like the other three are. Maybe Chase Briscoe's worth defending. I haven't really seen anything out of him, though. But if you def try to defend Kashitsky, Fagano, and Syndic, you're a dumbass. And that's all I'm going to say. The end of that race is bullshit. And, you, and everybody knows it.